The P-47 was an excellent high-altitude fighter despite being a huge aircraft. Compared to other fighters of the period, the size difference was significant. Yet, when encountering a P-47 at high altitude, especially when it was above you, was quite a terrifying experience. The reason it performed so well was because of its massive turbo supercharger. So the way it worked, in the most basic way to describe it, was exhaust gases drove a tail-mounted turbocharger in the rear of the aircraft. This compressed and cooled the intake air before feeding into the engine, providing the extra power needed at those altitudes. This allowed the P-47, specifically the D-28, to reach a top true airspeed of around 435 miles per hour at 23,000 feet. And overall, it was faster than most German fighters it went up against. Inside the cockpit, the pilot had a boost lever next to the throttle that controlled the turbo supercharger. It was typically used above 12,000 feet or at any altitude when operating at emergency power. However, it's important to note that the turbo can never be pushed ahead of the throttle because doing so would overpressurize the system and risk seriously damaging the engine. And as you can imagine, in the heat of combat, managing two levers at once was quite a handful. To help with this, there was an option to link both the throttle and turbo together, reducing the risk of pulling back the throttle while the turbo was still engaged. When handled correctly, the P-47's turbo system turned a massive fighter into one of the most effective high-altitude aircraft of the war.